and welcome back. Today we're going to continue taking a look at AutoMapper. AutoMapper is a tool which uses convention-based matching algorithm to match up source values to destination values when mapping objects from one object model to another object model. In a prior episode, we took a look at how to set up AutoMapper for basic usage. But in this episode, we're going to focus our time on how to perform custom value resolutions. There will be times in your mapping scenarios where AutoMapper cannot guess how to map or resolve a value. In these cases, you, need, you can create custom resolvers, which will help AutoMapper out. So what is a custom resolver? A custom resolver is a piece of code you write that allows you to take values that can't be mapped uh, inherently via AutoMapper uh, and map them for you. An example of this would be, let's say your source object has a first name and a last name, and your destination simply has full name. AutoMapper is not going to be able to figure out how to map that for you, so you have to create a resolver that will do it for you. And it's pretty easy. Let's take an, another example would be maybe you have a legacy database that stores Boolean values or flags as yes, no's, and you don't want that to be a yes, no when you're uh, to your destination model. You want it to be a Boolean. So you can create a custom resolver that will allow it to be a Boolean. And it's pretty straightforward. Here in front of you is the AutoMapper website. The source for today's episode was downloaded and compiled. So keep in mind that in the future, you know, future releases, the syntax you're looking at today might be slightly different uh, as a as the object model, or uh, I'm sorry, as a framework progresses over time. In a previous episode, we took a look at this right here. We took a look at how to map an episode which had an author and a sponsor, and how to map it to our episode view model. And in this previous example, I set it up so that we would map author name coming from author first and last name. I did it using the string dot format. And this will get the job, but you know what? This isn't the most uh, slick way to do it, because you can do a custom resolver to do that for you. So how do we use a custom resolver? Well, the first thing I need to do is create a class. And we'll call this author name resolver. Once I have this class, I need to inherit off of value resolver. Value resolver is a, is a class that is part of the AutoMapper framework. And when I use value resolver, it's a generic, so it's going to expect two things. Where it's coming from, so my my origination object type, and what I expect to output. So I'm going to take it from an episode and output a string. Once I do that, I need to inherit off, or I'm sorry, override a method in order to have AutoMapper do its job. And that is going to be resolve core. Resolve core is a very simple method. It takes in my origination object type and outputs my destination type. Once I have this done, what do I have to do now? Well, I can actually pretty much just copy and paste this code. Change S to source, slap my semicolon on it, and I'm done. Now how do I set up AutoMapper to actually use that? I use form member, same as before. We want to still put it in the author name. And I still need to create my OPT, but instead of doing uh, you know, map from, I'm going to use resolve using. Resolve using is a generic. I'm going to say author name resolver. That's it. What happens here is AutoMapper knows to create instance of the author name resolver. And OPT is my origination source, so it's an episode. It already knows that based on context. And it will create the resolver, pass in the episode for me, and it will output this logic here. So let's run this, see if it still works. When I hover over author name, sure enough, it outputs as Derek Whitaker. So our resolver worked just fine. Now let's look at another example. What if I don't want to pass an entire object, but I want to pass in a single value? Uh, as my example a few minutes ago from where I want to take a flag on my database that's yes, no, and output is boolean. Well, in my episode class, I created a property called release, and it's a string here. We expect this to be a yes or no value. In my episode view model, I want to create I want to create a boolean called release. And clearly, I want to map released to release. And if I run this without any resolver, I'm going to get an exception. And the exception is following type system boolean cannot be mapped to release. Well, the reason for that is, again, you can't take a string and directly map it to a boolean. So 
what we need to do here is create yet another result. So we'll call this flag to boolean resolver. And again, I need to override the resolve core method. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say return source dot to upper, just so I always have an uppercase for comparison. So if it's yes, return true, else return false. And that's a resolver. Now, how do I implement my resolver? I'm still going to need to do form member. We'll call this released. Resolve using. Now, here's what's a little bit different than above. Above, I actually want it to just take an object, but I don't have an object in this scenario, uh, at least a full blown object. So, what I want to do is say for member. For member will allow me to pick a value on my object model and use that as my, uh, my catalyst for my result resolution. We'll say released. And that's it. Now, before I run this, I should probably come up here and put released and provide it a value. Otherwise, I'll probably get some kind of null reference exception. So let's go ahead and run this now and see what happens. And sure enough, my resolver mapped my yes to a true as I expected. So there you go. In a matter of you know six or seven minutes, you've taken a look at how to create custom resolvers with AutoMapper, where we can take values that aren't able to be mapped inherently within the framework and create your own mapping and resolution logic to take it from, say, disparate data, data fields into a single data field or from a data type to another data type uh, uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. We also take, took a look at how you can use the resolver and have it work on a whole object or have it resolve a single field within your object model. So I hope you learned something, and until next time.